Well, hello again. Welcome to RTC TV 4. Scott Sager here with you. Today we're here with some folks from the south, uh, not too far south though, just down the way down in Fulton. We've got Linda Wade and Dave Fincher. They're here to talk about the uh, Fulton Fun Days coming up. Well, welcome. Well, thanks Thank you. for having Thank us. You. Thanks for coming into the studio. Not too bad of a little studio here, is it? Hey, it's very great. Nice. It's very comfortable. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you for coming in. We've uh, done our best to get down and cover some of the things happening down at the Fulton Fun Days uh, year in and year out. But this is the first time we've had an interview with some of the people putting it together, and we're happy to have them here. We've got a nice list of events, so kind of want to jump in. And, mm -hmm. and uh, Linda, let's talk about uh, the history of this. How long has this Fulton Fun Days been going on? Uh the current Lions Club, because there was one years okay, ago. Okay. okay, the current Lions Club was chartered in 1999. Okay. So we started with the festival in 2000. Okay. Which basically was a kind of an offshoot from uh, 1976, 77, 78 was our first Fault and Fun Days. And it was just a group of a few volunteers nice. that did this. Okay. Uh, so we kept, retained that name. Uh -huh. And this now makes our 19th annual wow. festival which used to be three days, is now down to one. One day festival. Okay, yes. a lot of things are truncating as, yes. as we uh, progress into the timeline here. Uh, there's so much to do. There's so much to do for everyone, more than ever before. And so to pack all this into one day versus three, there are some benefits to it. There are, yeah. some, there are some losses to it as well. But, um, well, that's great. 19 years of doing this. And now this takes place at the park for the most part in yes. Fulton, correct? Yes. Okay. And um, talk to us about some of the things happening on that day. And first of all, let's tell them when it is. It's Day August the 4th. August 4th. August 4th. And uh, that's a Saturday. That's a Saturday. Okay. And it'll go pretty much all day uh, mm -hmm. in probably almost till dark since it doesn't get dark now till 10 o'clock. Right, right. So, right. so uh, uh, it starts, I see we start in the morning at 8 o'clock right away with a mush ball tournament. And it's a possibility. Uh, Mose Middleton is our volunteer running it now. We have lots of volunteers. Oh, sure, if if sure. we didn't, our little Lions Club wouldn't be able to do this. I understand. Uh, last year, I know he started on Friday night, because this is the way it used to be. It was Friday night and all day Saturday, mm -hmm. just so he could get his games in. So I'm not sure what will happen this year. Okay. But yes, the mush ball tournament. Tentatively think, scheduled to start at 8 a.m. We'll put it tentatively. On, on Saturday. Okay. I think we had seven or eight teams last great, year. Great. Mm -hmm. Now, mush ball, the difference is, of course, it's a larger ball. It doesn't, mm -hmm. it's not like a softball that's going to come back at you at 50 miles an hour. It's a little <laughs> slower pace yeah. play at times. Right. Right? You have time to get underneath it. <laughs> exactly. Yes. For protection, if nothing else. Right? However, if you hit a home run once, that's it because you get one. That, that point on, it's an out. Oh, no kidding. Mm -hmm. So we only get one home run with the mush ball. Well, that would be interesting. <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, as we go through the day, of course, we've got the 5K Bulldog Race in the morning. And that's been with us also the whole the entire time. years. Excellent. Right? You have a fun walk with that. So you don't have to do the 5K run. You can actually walk mm -hmm. instead. And, uh, in years past that I've covered this, I've seen quite a few walkers, in fact. Mm -hmm. You can bring the stroller. I, I was <laughs> going to say that. We have ladies yeah. running and walking with strollers. Yeah. I mean, some run, yeah. actually, the race yeah. every year. If I see a woman running with a stroller, I'm, I'm worried that somebody's <laughs> chasing her. I might have to step in. But no, it's great. I've seen that before. And... Um, oh, a lot of fun. A lot of fun for the kids, too. Um, so enjoyable mm -hmm. stuff there that starts at 8.30 that morning. So. Yes, it does. Other great things happening that day, Linda? Oh, you know, we've got uh, a lot of vendors. Actually, they're going to be coming in to set up during that morning time. Because okay. uh, you can see we don't have a lot of activities in the morning mm -hmm. getting ready for the big parade. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know if you're interested. I can tell you what crap vendors I have. Oh, sure. People would love so to far. know. Okay. I have paparazzi jewelry from Bourbon. Nice. SS vinyl designs from Bourbon. Pearls of Love coming from Tippy Canoe. Uh, the American Red Cross from Argus. And they I saw them at the fair last night. And you can sign up to get a free smoke alarm. And they oh, no will kidding. work with the local fire departments to have it installed. Oh, that's incredible. Good stuff there. That's great. Uh, Luke's uh, products and auction from Kiwana, yes. you know, he puts on the festival over there. Yeah. They're coming back. 31, uh, some gal from Frankton, wherever that is. Okay. Uh, Cincy, and this is a local person's relative, but, okay. but that person's coming from Ohio. Oh, that's fun. 
Tupperware dealer from Rochester, Lipsense products from Kiwana, Smith Wooden Creations from Logan Sport, Pink Zebra from Kiwana, and also one that kind of fits into the food vendors. We usually don't have a lot of food vendors because we are a smaller one. Sure. But one of the key club members from Caston contacted me about having Alex's lemonade stand. Have okay. you ever heard of it? I have not. It was a young boy. I think he was about a year or so when he had a type of cancer. Okay. And as he got older, he started a lemonade stand sales for cancer research. Nice. And he raised, I think, over a million dollars in goodness. his lifetime. He died around age eight. Wow. So there, there is a foundation that's ongoing, no and they raise money through this. And so the Key Club, that's what they're doing. Oh, that's great. Casting Key Club, mm -hmm. doing great things I down there, that's kids. Really, really Very special. Very nice, yes. Yeah. So, Dave, have you ever gotten to eat any of the pork burgers? They're very good. Very good. All right. well, yes. You need to give a promo that, for that. They uh, <laughs> Pork they, burgers from the Lions Club. They tend to run out, too. Okay. Yes. So. Okay. I never get one because okay. I'm working the parade route. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. So, the pork burgers, you'll have a little booth there in the park for that. Actually, that'll be right downtown. Right downtown. As, yeah. as people can get them to watch during the, the parade. parade. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, they're busy before and after. And like he said... They're done. Uh, I think last year on our parade, we had 50-some entries. Wow, so that's it, great. It was a, a really, really nice was parade. was very, very good. Uh, nice. the largest one, wasn't it, we've ever had? Possibly. I've only done this about six, seven years. Okay. Someone else did it prior. Uh, it's but it was pretty good size. Largest so. one in recent history. <laughs> I like that thought. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's great. So the parade then is at noon on Saturday, August 4th, mm -hmm. um, and they can line the streets right down there mm -hmm. of, uh, 25. Mm -hmm. We shut down 25 during yes, the parade. Yes, we do. Right, right. I'm glad you said that because I was going to say that all, I'll just read this. All people driving into Fulton or through it need to remember that State Road 25 and State Road 114 West will have detours for around an hour and a half prior to and lasting through the parade Excellent. start time. Excellent. Right. Excellent. So the parade again, noon on Saturday. you got to get down there. Candy, if nothing else, candy right. for sure. Sure, right. sure. <laughs> and we want to give a little plug for the local law enforcement personnel who help do that detour work. Take okay. good care of us, all the folks down there in uh, Fulton and, uh, of course, your Fulton County Sheriff's Department down there being a big right. part of that. Uh, so. Bouncy houses and pony rides. Yes, the bounce houses, the those, that's a free activity, Great. and the Fulton Baptist Church uh, sponsors that, that's fantastic. runs it. Pony rides, Dave Level, who has been with the Fulton County 4-H Horse and Pony for yeah. since its inception, uh, he's come down there. All of these years, also, that's good. and it's a very favorite thing for the children. That's a lot of fun. It's down. That's more towards the south end of the park, if I remember correctly. It it should be. Mm -hmm. I still have to meet with them on the to location. See where it's <laughs> actually at. But uh, my children, actually, I took my kids down one year, and they did ride on the mm -hmm. the uh, ponies and had a good time with uh -huh. that. Um, yeah. They wouldn't let me in the bouncy house. I was a little upset about that. But, yeah, we had some fun. But uh, it looks like we got a band that afternoon as well. Night Shift has been there for many years. They and they That's uh, local folks, is it not? From yes, Monterey. It is. Okay, Monterey. Yes, it is. They go to a lot of festivals. They do, they do. Here. I've seen their name quite a bit. Right. So that'll be good. So that's happening around 1 o'clock in the afternoon then mm -hmm. on Saturday after the parade. Now this next event, Smartphone Scavenger yeah. Hunt, uh, one of the gals that volunteers for us, Lori Gibson, she just started this last year. Last year, yes. And a lot of kids, are, it can be for anybody. Right, you right. Know, if they the have kids to are sign, the ones who are savvy about well, it. Well, they right? have to get a, a parent signature <laughs> okay. if they're under 18 okay. because this is going to be going around town. Okay. And she, I oh, don't understand all of this, but <laughs> you could probably explain it, Dave. Well, she, uh, she takes various pictures around town and to, to set up the, the game, and then she'll have people go look for those. She won't show their picture, or she'll just say what it is, uh -huh. and then they'll take a picture of everything. When they find it, uh, obviously the first one that finds everything, right. you know, they'll take a picture they can show her. That, and, you know, so she's taking a picture of spots down around Fulton 
they have to go and find those spots Correct. and take a picture to prove that they found the spot. Right. That's right. neat. That's right. neat. And it's a free event. Yeah. There's some small cash prizes. Nice. But... Surprises. We like prizes. <laughs> Always going to be someone young that wins because first place they can move faster. <laughs> no the second place they understand their phone better. I know. <laughs> you and I would be standing there after, yeah. after finally finding it. We'd be sitting there trying to figure out our phone. That's true. Or Dave would be holding his phone way up. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah. That's true I get also. It. I get it, Dave. I do, buddy. <laughs> Well, that's fun. So we've got the uh, scavenger hunt again. We're just now into the the afternoon, so Correct. a lot of great events happening. We've got the scavenger hunt, and then one I like it caught my eye right away. In fact, I highlighted it on my <laughs> free ice cream at one o'clock. That is the United Methodist Church in Fulton. Excellent. Second year that they've done this. This year, I think they're going to do ice cream sandwiches or ice cream bars. Last okay. year, they had a Last line. Last year, they had uh, <laughs> ice cream, and they, they, they actually couldn't keep up. Too big of a line. Yeah, now we're going to give them up. something we can hand them, right? right. <laughs> yes. That's great, though. That was a Fantastic. Hit. And I want to uh, just commend the churches for stepping up, um, doing great things. If this is where the people are, if this is where the kids are, that's where the gospel should be. So good well, stuff there. Yeah, you that's know, right. make your presence known. Absolutely. And, and, you know, be friendly. Yeah, right. For sure. that, that's great. That's great. Well, a neat thing here, and uh, I don't know, is that coming from the law enforcement, this child ID yeah, table? Yes, Sheriff Chris Sailors. Excellent. Uh, he's going to be doing the child ID table. Yeah, yeah. He's going to have a squad car or truck somewhere nice. that kids, kids can, can actually look, look at. at too. This is very, very important. Um, yes, we're in rural America, and yes, we are sparsely populated, but still, things happen. Mm -hmm. yes. And you want your children, you want to be able to make sure that you've got ID as a parent um, and so make sure that you stop by this booth here most likely they'll take picture and fingerprint and get some information on the kids that way if anything does happen they've mm -hmm. got the current stuff ready to go mm -hmm. you know that's great that's great so again sheriff sailors and law enforcement doing great things then we have a pedal pack pedal packer pedal tractor pull coming up <laughs> at 1:30. those are some of the funnest tractor pulls that we ever get to cover Oh my gosh, they are so competitive. <laughs> but are. The tractor is small so that yeah. it goes up through age 10. Okay. And by that time, the kid's legs the are out are like this. Up, right? And they're trying not to hit the uh, handlebar. Yeah. But they are extremely, extremely uh, competitive. That is fantastic. Fun. Good stuff there. So the pedal pole at 130, and then mm -hmm. we go into the, uh, the 1 to 2. We've got a chalk art competition on the basketball court. And yeah, and it's kind of like around the edge of it. We're not going to draw on the court, but we've got a pretty good uh, edging of, uh -huh. of the asphalt and so forth. Excellent. Last year was the first year. Lynn McGrew and, and Danielle McGrew for McGrew's Well Drilling mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. sponsored this. And boy, those kids, did you see them working there? They were... They get yeah. a little an area to uh -huh. work in, and the chalks provided. And they fill it in as they can, huh? And do a good job. Oh, that's do a good job. That's a neat yes. thing. I love encouraging the arts, of course. That brings out a lot of the uh, kids. And, mm -hmm. and okay. so fun stuff there. Bingo at 2 o'clock. Euchre at 2 o'clock. Bingo's free, Euchre's not, okay. but it's only, I think, $10. You pay a little bit to get into the Euchre right. tournament, and there's probably a prize at the end of that, of right. course. And then Bingo's going to have some prizes and whatnot, but it is free to enter the Bingo. She says... Do you know where the bingo is? It is in the pavilions. Okay, the Both pavilions. of those are in the pavilions. We Great. have two pavilions there. And Scott, I'd like to add that all these uh, entry forms are on our Facebook page. Okay, tell everybody what your Facebook uh, page Fulton, is. Uh, Liberty Lions. Uh, Liberty Lions. Liberty Lions. How is it we call? I don't know how you take <laughs> Fulton <laughs> Liberty Lions, charge. I believe. Look up there Fulton Liberty Lions on your Facebook, and it'll pop up. Click on it. And I just print it. I don't read it. Right? <laughs> so we have so many uh, taglines for RTC. You've got RTC. You've got RTC TV4. You've got RTC4. Right. I can't remember what our handles are for all these things. It's just... I mm -hmm. handle a couple Facebook pages, <laughs> and I get confused. <laughs> it yes. does happen. And if you stop at the Fulton Branch Library... Yes. Uh, there's a display set up there and Great. all the forms and so forth Great. are available. I want to encourage you to go to your library all the time, of course, with my wife yes. being a librarian. But uh, for you guys, stop in there. Lots of great information there as well. Uh, that's at the uh, Fulton County Library Branch in Fulton. So mm -hmm. uh, enjoy that. Mm -hmm. uh, 2.30, we've got Google's Drive. We want Goggles, to say Goggles Drive. I said Google's, didn't I? See, <laughs> i got to hold my paper clear out here too, Dave. Goggles drive basketball court. Okay, is this the uh, impaired driving goggles? Yes, it is. Those are crazy. Uh, Tony Slocum from the Indiana State Police yeah. Peru Post. Mm -hmm. 
I did it a few years ago, the last time we had it, and that was crazy. Yeah. I thought I was going to crash Isn't constantly. Isn't just insane? I, I can't see through them very well at all. At no. All. And uh, no, I did not want to drive the vehicle. I said, <laughs> if, I, if I, this is what I'm seeing, I'm not driving. But that's an, it's a neat exercise for it sure. It is. Uh, give you some sort of an idea of what it would be like if yeah. you were actually impaired that way. Absolutely. We want to um, encourage everybody mm -hmm. not to drink and drive. Hopefully and that's, hopefully that would give them a little fear. Yeah. No, it, it definitely gave me some fear. Let me tell you, I, I really didn't want to do it. Um, it. By the way, they'll be driving a golf cart. Yeah, right. It's okay. not speed cars on the highway or yeah. anything like that. They'll keep that safe. Canine demo by the state police as well. And this is uh, Doug Weaver. Okay. And his canine. Yep, yep. And they are going to take some time to show us I love it. some of the activities no, it's, in front it's, of the stage. Yeah. You know, these dogs are the friendliest dogs in the world, but on command, they will turn into your protector. Right. right. And uh, the training and everything that goes with them. And, you know, the bond that forms between the canines and their owners is incredible. Mm -hmm. It's just absolutely incredible. So you'll be able to see those demos. A lot of fun demos there. I'm sure he'll have the big thing on his arm and let the dog I'm attack. Sure. And, yes. right. and uh, I, I never want to be on the receiving end of that. I'll tell <laughs> no, you what. definitely not. <laughs> Well, that's uh, by the, fr or the front of the stage there. Again, in the park, we're talking about the Fulton Fun Days, August 4th, 2018. That's yeah. a Saturday. Everything packed into one day. I know you thought it was, uh, or it used to be three days. So everything's on Saturday the 4th. No reason not to go down there and spend the entire day. But we're just now getting into some of the late afternoon things. I see digital music from 3 to 5. Well, we, we will have that maybe. Okay. Uh, that's also in the same areas. We're going to have the canine okay. and everything else. Uh, as we need a microphone, we'll mm -hmm. have we'll have that set up there for, for the folks. And also, if we have some time in between mm -hmm. events, mm -hmm. we will play some music. But Great, right uh, we're not sure exactly how much right. music. No worries kind of at all. a space filler. Oh, absolutely. No, I right. understand. I understand. Then I see you've got a Taekwondo demonstration going on at 4 o'clock. Yes, and this is from uh, Dave Cholger, I believe. Dave, it? Dave Colger, and that's, Colger. A, that's he's one of our big sponsors, Blue Dragon Taekwondo. Yes, thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. I was going to look up the mm -hmm. title here. Uh, and they're coming down to do this. Excellent. No cost to us, which is just wonderful. Yeah, you see a great demonstration there, right? Uh, and, you know, it'll be good advertisement for him, mm -hmm. but he's he's going to let us offer drawing for some free lessons. Oh, that's support. great. That's great. Uh, Blue Dragon Taekwondo, uh, North Main Street here in Rochester, just over the tracks. Um, doing great things. Been one of our sponsors for a while. Of course, we're talking about Dave Colger. Michael Walkman works here at RTC. He's a black belt over there. Martin Colger mm -hmm. is a black belt. Um, here works at RTC as well, so uh, a lot of affinity with the RTC group okay. in that. But uh, they do put on great demonstrations, and uh, just a little plug for them: if you've got a, a young young child, um, all the way up into the teenage years, what a great disciplinary, mm -hmm. learn discipline, learn self respect type of thing. I did it as a child as well. Yes, you're looking at a black belt. I know that I intimidate <laughs> all of you with my my fearsome look, but. Uh, yeah, I did that years ago, and, and again, a nice demonstration going on there at 4 o'clock. So. Good. Then we get in some basketball. These are always great little three-on-three -three tournaments down there, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So that's happening at 4.30, um, followed by a free-throw contest and three-point contest. So as the folks gather to, to do that, you'll see how many uh, mm -hmm. entries you have and, and how far that right. goes. And that's the youth. That's, that's the like youth. junior high on down, usually yep. fifth fifth grade on and then that. we have adults later on we'll tell you about right it. we've got dan's fish fry and dan has added chicken to his fish fry so Correct. it's chicken and fish fry yes so pick your poison there that's from 4 30 to 7 30 now where can they get that dan's fish or or the tickets yeah and so the forth. tickets and all right well fulton county the, again this is dave level's involvement okay he's bringing his group down here wow. to sponsor this the fulton county 4-H Horse and Pony Club, uh -huh. and so they will be the ones that you would contact for any pre-sale tickets. Okay, 4-H Horse and Pony Pony Club. Correct. Mm -hmm. But you can you don't have to buy advanced tickets. It, it just it helps with okay. knowing how much to that have on got hand too, for right? flying. Okay. Right. Good stuff. Yes. So. I'm sure that they'll have some advertisement in the paper they always do Excellent. on their fries. Excellent. Dance fish fry, mm -hmm. fish and chicken fry, that's 4.30 to 7.30 down a there. Actually, uh -huh. I, there's a little correction there. Please. He told me yesterday, 4 o'clock to 7.30. 4 o'clock. He's moving it up. You can get it earlier. Yeah. I like it. 
Five o'clock, we've got Treated and Released coming down to play. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, have, you, have, they, have they played down there for you before? They have not. Okay, mm-hmm. this will they be a great not. thing. Uh, not to my knowledge, not as long as I've been yeah. around. No, they haven't. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, again, local boys. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I say boys, local men. <laughs> they were boys once upon yeah. a time. Mm-hmm. That's great. Well, uh, TNR, as you know, uh, Treated and Released, uh, you got to get down there and see them. Again, we're talking about August 4th. This is uh, Saturday. It's going to be a beautiful Saturday. I'm predicting good weather already. Oh, I hope you're right. <laughs> Just as long as it's not extremely hot. Yeah. I have a son who has told me every year, Mom, you pick the hottest day of the year to have this festival. But I think we've already talked that. Yeah. I think hottest I, I would days. hope that we don't have any hotter days than we've had <laughs> already kidding. this year with that 106, 107 heat index. But... Uh, yeah, it'll be, you know, it's early August. It's going to be warm, but uh, you hope that the uh, sun mm-hmm. stays out and that the, the uh, rain stays away. For sure. So you've got Treat and Release playing, but while they're playing, we've got Adult 3 on 3 at 6 o'clock uh, for mm-hmm. the basketball tournament. Right. You've got a cornhole tournament happening at 6.30. Correct. And then it's uh, what looks like 6 o'clock. We've also got the 8U softball happening back there. Th- the that's just getting scheduled in from okay. the tournament we had this past weekend. Excellent. And- I have a 99% commitment from the team that will play, so I don't can't release that name yet. No problem. But yes, and hey, I want to back up on the Please. three on three because we are so volunteer laden. Mm-hmm. You've heard me mentioning names; those are all volunteers. They're yes. not Lions Club members. Right. And Eric Wash and Dan Williams are the ones that are have been running the basketball for the last few years. Excellent. Thank you guys very much. Couldn't do it without you. It does take the volunteers. Mm-hmm. It sure does. Um, you know we're uh, we're blessed in our area. You know we just did the Argus Summer Festival and Argus Parade. We just did the uh, last week. We did the Akron and all the events happening over there. Rochester had its parade and community event. We've got one coming up again here in Fulton. But the number of people involved to put just those parades on has got to be in the hundreds. It has to be. It's amazing the number of volunteers that come together year in and year out to put this stuff together. But you could always use more volunteers, right? Always. <laughs> yes, we don't have hundreds, okay? <laughs> Let's we get them hundreds. We don't have dozens either. Let's get them hundreds. Well, if somebody does want to volunteer for this. We uh, multitask. Yeah, you That's do. That's fault in our liberty. You wear a bunch of hats, don't you? Yes. yes. <laughs> well, if, if somebody does want to volunteer and they want to reach out to you, what's the best way? Is it through the Facebook pages to uh, give you a call? It could be either. Okay. Uh, right. It could be either. Okay. Uh, well, you got Linda Wade. You've got uh, Dave Fincher here, both from Fulton. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You, you can find them, folks. It's and Fulton. Reason everybody knows us down there. We've got yes. good it's, or bad. Right, right. Eight five seven six one zero one. I'll put that up on the screen here. Whose number is that? That's mine. Give one a call. She's sure. just waiting for it. She's got nothing I else think. going on. No, uh, <laughs> not busy at all. Saw you sing, by the way, at the REMC. You came in and sang right. the uh, national, anthem. national anthem. You guys did a wonderful job. Well, thank you. you. Uh, let's see, it was you, it was... Joyce Jones, Joyce. who's our Fulton County Choral Club director. I'll okay. give that a plug. Okay, Fulton County Choral Club. And Sandra Hoffarth. Sandra Ho- Sandra. Hoffarth. Hoff- Hoffarth. Okay, yes. I don't know Sandra, but uh, okay. she did a great job as well. Right. So, uh, well, you guys keep up the good thing. What else is going on in Fulton? It's a, it's a town that, um, you know, kind of saw some... Slowing down, and then it seems like you're picking back up a little bit, and you've got a lot of great things happening down that way. Well, I do know that our 12U baseball and 10U baseball are going to semi-state. That's something. I'll tell you Uh, what. That's that's a good deal. Excellent. Other Dave? great things, cast the Dave is the one that goes strong. and has coffee. At yeah, the David, local you have coffee. Come on. So <laughs> we should do we should do weekly gossip with Dave. And yeah. uh, after you've gone to coffee all week, come we in. We solved several problems, but I don't remember that one ever coming up. <laughs> <laughs> well, no worries. Well, some uh, local folks doing great local things. Uh, again, folks, it does take a village. It takes folks stepping up. We talk about volunteers all the time. If you want to volunteer, give them a, give them a call. Mm-hmm. Happy to, to take you on board to uh, help in any way you can to make the Fulton Fun Days the best that they can be. It takes it takes it takes a village every time, um, and it might be you know from the parade coordination to making sure the basketball courts have nets to. There's so many little things mm-hmm. that go into I this. I guarantee thing, any volunteers will be accepted. <laughs> yes. Well, good stuff happens. Especially happening. younger. I'm yeah. sure you run across that yeah. in your conversations yeah. and your interviews. 
uh, the service clubs, we just keep getting older and older. Yes. And the younger parents and adults out in the communities yeah. attend our events, mm -hmm. but we really need... Yeah. We, so we need this, them is, to do this is a call out from age 18 to 35. You need to start stepping up. You need to start volunteering and helping to uh, keep these traditions that you've grown up with right. going. So... Uh, that's a big shout out to the 18 to 35 year olds. Get out there, volunteer, give them a call, be a part of this, and uh, let's continue to make it great, okay? And for our festival, I could I could say from personal experience, uh, a very small community, but every year as I'm sitting, listening to a band or something, I see someone and talk to someone that I haven't seen for years. That's so great. it's a great social event. Mm -hmm. Just get out and talk to people. Yep, yep, be neighborly as they say, right? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Well, again, Linda Wade, Dave Fincher here, uh, representing the Fulton Fun Days happening August 4th, 2018. We'll see this many times between now and then. Hopefully it uh, encourages you to get out there and attend the event. Thank you both very much. Thank you, Thanks. Scott. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching here on RTC TV4.